Okay, I'm going to demystify the confusion about the two IP addresses, 10.0.2.2 and 10.0.2.15 for virtual machine when the virtual machine is virtual box. And this is true for any VM image on the virtual box system, whether it's this one or that one or any other one. PHP will see the web server as being... Well, first, let me show you the PHP info because that would help provide a visual for this. Okay, let me start this machine because it has PS PHP on it. Okay, now let me go to the PHP info page. All right. Okay, the PHP variable, or actually the server environment variable called server address on the virtual machine is 10.0.2.15. But the remote address from which the browser is making the request is 10.0.2.2. Okay? So that's what those two IP addresses are. Okay, now I want to show something else. Two useful networking commands. All right, let me SSH into Sandbox. All right, now let me do net, no, if config, if config, because that's one of them. Okay, that basically gives this kind of information. Here's the Ethernet card, and here's the loopback, okay? The Ethernet card will give you the IP of the machine, and the machine is the server. It's the web server machine, and that's 10.02.15, okay? The loopback is always like 127.001. Anyways, now let me demonstrate another command. This one, net stat t. That one goes like a spider, and I, I believe, I mean, I'm not sure about this. It senses the nodes in within the network, okay? The local area network, okay? So it senses foreign address 10.0.2.2 and local address 10.0.2.15. I guess the foreign address is how it sees the Mac, which is hosting the virtual machine. And then the local address is the IP of the virtual machine itself. And basically, this whole line is result of the SSH connection. And that's why SSH is right there. All right, that's what I know about this topic.